probability is simply the chance that something will occur. And we assign this chance a value between 0 and 1. 0 means it would never happen, and 1 meaning it's guaranteed to happen. One way these probabilities are expressed is in a fraction, and the basic probability fraction we use is in the numerator, we put the number of things I want, the number of things that would satisfy our requirements, and in the denominator, we put the total number possible. And then we would reduce that fraction at the number we want, divided by the total possibilities. So, for example, if I have a bag that contains three blue marbles, two red marbles, and one green marble, and we are drawing one marble at random, what's the probability we get a blue marble? Well, to set this up, we've got a total of three blue marbles that we want. What we want goes in the numerator over, in the denominator, we're going to put how many are possible. Well, there's three blue marbles, two red marbles, and one green marble, and so if we add that up, we're going to get a total of six possible marbles. And so the probability of getting a blue marble is three out of six, which reduces to one half. There's a one in two chance that we're going to get a blue marble. What about a red marble? Well, with the red marble, we put in the numerator how many we want. There are two red marbles, there are six marbles possible, and two out of six reduces to one-third. So we would say we have a one-third chance of getting a red marble. How about a black marble? How many black marbles are possible? In this case, there are no black marbles described, and so there is a zero out of six, or simply a zero chance, representing that this event is impossible to occur. How about this one? A blue or green marble? Well, there are three blue marbles in the bag, and there is one green marble in the bag. So if we want blue or green, how many total would we be happy with? How many total possibilities could we want? Well, three plus one is four out of the six total possibilities, and that reduces down to two-thirds. Let's try another probability problem. Here we're going to roll a standard six-sided dice, the number one through six on them. What's the probability, then, that we roll a three? Well, how many threes are on this die? There is one number three. Out of how many possible rolls? Six possible rolls. We have a one in six chance. What about rolling an even number? The numbers one through six show up on a die, so the even numbers possible are two, four, and six. So the number of possibilities that we could want is there are three possibilities out of six that we would be happy with, which reduces to one half. How about number three here? A number smaller than three. Well, if the numbers one through six appear on the die, numbers smaller than three would be one and two. Be careful, three is not smaller than three. Three is three, so we want smaller than three. That only considers one and two. So how many possibilities do we have? We have two possibilities out of the six total on the die. Two-sixth reduces to one-third. How about the probability of rolling a seven? How many sevens on a die? If you remember, the die has the numbers one through seven, there are I'm sorry, one through six, which means there are zero sevens on the die out of the six possibilities, which means this event that's impossible to occur has a probability of zero. To get our basic probability fraction, we simply make a fraction the number of things we want over the number of things that are possible.